Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Ian Talk. I'm your host Ian, and today I've got a new episode of the Things You Didn't Know series. Usually in this series, I go over some fun facts and info regarding a specific movie, such as my previous episodes on Things You Didn't Know About Old Boy and Things You Didn't Know About New World. However, in today's video, I'm going to be switching it up a bit and instead of going over a movie, I'll be introducing 10 fun facts about a specific actor. And who better to start off with than the man who recently came out with the fire film, Ma Dong Seok. To start off, Ma Dong Seok is a US citizen. He moved to the state of Montana at the age of 19 with his family and also lived in Texas, New York, LA, and Ohio. I've always been a big fan of Marvel. Uh, when I'm done with the interview, I might go to uh, Disneyland and try to uh, yeah, have more fun. His English name is Don Lee, which is why we can see him being listed as Don Lee in English cast lineups and subtitles, as well as in the film The Eternals. In fact, his Korean name, Ma Dong Seok, isn't his real Korean name either. Ma Dong Seok is a nickname he had since elementary school and stands for Ang Ma Dong Seok which translates to Devil Tong Seok, which he probably got the name for for being so beastly. His real name is Yi Dong Seok. Ma Dong Seok was a personal trainer for UFC fighters Mark Coleman and Kevin Randleman, and worked as a personal trainer for 10 years before coming back to Korea. In Korea, he was a trainer for other famous celebrities such as Jo In Sung, Jung Woo Sung, Hong Yoo, Hwang Jung Min, Han Ye Seul, and Kim Soo Ro. Don Lee wasn't always the buff, bulky man he is today. In fact, he was only 60 kilograms when he was younger, but worked out and buffed up to 120 kilograms in order to combat racism. Before moving into the remaining 5 fun facts, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. If you would like to access more Korean movies through streaming services, I highly suggest using ExpressVPN to connect to servers from other locations to gain access to thousands of more content. By using ExpressVPN, you can bypass geo restrictions, meaning you can be from anywhere around the world and access the Korean and other country servers like the Korean Netflix. If you would like to access more Korean content like movies, dramas, and shows, be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link in the descriptions or expressvpn.com slash iantalk and get 49% off an annual plan plus 3 extra months for free. Better yet, if you sign up and don't like the service, there's a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning you can cancel any time within the first 30 days. Ok, getting back to the fun facts, Ma Dong Seok is the director of Korea Arm Wrestling Federation, which makes sense when you look at his incredible 12 inch biceps. Dwayne The Rock Johnson even challenged him to an arm wrestling match. In fact, Ma Dong Seok even starred in a film that revolves around the sport itself. At a young age, Ma Dong Seok's dream was to become a cop. Although he didn't quite accomplish this goal, he partially did when he was appointed as a Korean honorary police officer in 2017 and also by playing various cop and detective roles in K movies. Don Lee was born in 1971 on March 1st, making him 51 years old at the time of recording. Although Ma Dong Seok is an A-list household name now, this wasn't always the case. He was in lots of movies as an extra slash minor role before shooting into stardom. He first got his name out with the public with the film Beastie Boys and really caught my eyes with his role in Veteran. In fact, he was actually supposed to star in Veteran as a cop, but due to scheduling conflicts, he made a cameo appearance instead with his art box ad lip line. Following this, he got major roles in major films. And finally, Ma Dong Seok came a long way, starring in smaller roles to top box office bangers, and even starring in Hollywood's Marvel's The Eternals. He now leads a production team called Team Gorilla that Ma Dong Seok himself made, which consists of 30 writers, directors, producers, and more. The team participated in films such as The Outlaws, Champion, The Soulmate, Unstoppable, and more. 
Okay, now that we've got a good sense of who Ma Dong Seok is, let's take a look at my list of Ma Dong Seok's best movies. Coming in at number 5 of my list of favorite Ma Dong Seok movies is the 2018 film, Unstoppable. Unstoppable is a classic revenge film with great action and who's the best to play the role of an angry man getting vengeance for his kidnapped wife? Of course, Ma Dong Seok. The film also starred the likes of Song Ji Yo, Kim Song Ho, Kim Min Jae, Park Ji Wan, and Lee Sung Woo, and I give the film a 7 out of 10 and Don Lee's suitability an 8 out of 10. Moving on to the number 4 spot, the number 4 movie is the 2018 film Along with the Gods The Last 49 Days. This movie is a fantasy drama and Ma Dong Seok plays the god of house in the film. Starring the likes of Ha Jung Woo, Ju Ji Yoon, Kim Young Gi, Kim Dong Wook, and of course Don Lee, I give Along with the Gods The Last 49 Days an 8 out of 10 and Don Lee's character an 8 as well. Next, the number 3 spot is another recent film released last year, The Gangster The Cop The Devil. Ma Dong Seok plays a chilling gangster in this crime action, and the film was shown out of competition in the midnight screening section at the 2019 Cannes Film Festival as well. Starring alongside Don Lee were Kim Mu Yeol, Kim Sung Gyu, Choi Min Chol, and Kim Yoon Sung, and I give the movie an 8, and Ma's suitability an 8.5. And now, just two movies left. The number two movie is one of the most well known movies of Korean cinema, released in 2016 Train to Busan. As mentioned, Train to Busan is one of the most globally recognized Korean movies, and if you haven't seen this zombie action thriller, you need to see this. The film stars not only Ma Dong Seok, but also Kong Yu, Cheng Yumi, Kim Soo Han, Kim Mi Sung, Choi Woo Sik, and An So Yi, and I give the movie a 9.5 out of 10, and Don's role an 8.5 out of 10. And finally, the number one Ma Dong Seok movie. The number one spot goes to the 2017 film The Outlaws. This crime action movie not only starred Ma Dong Seok, but as mentioned before, Ma also worked as a producer as well. This is another must watch, and you can truly see Don Lee go beast mode in The Outlaws. Starring in the movie as well were Yoon Ge Sang, Jo Jae Yoon, Choi Gui Wa, Im Young Jun, Jin Sung Gyu, Hong Gi Jun, Ho Dong Won, and Park Ji Wan, and I give the film a 9 out of 10, and Ma's role in the film a 9.5 out of 10. That concludes today's video on 10 things you didn't know about Ma Dong Seok. Thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and please let me know in the comments what you think about Ma Dong Seok in this episode of Things You Didn't Know. Also, which movie and or actor should I feature next? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and to show me your love and support. Join the Ian Talk Telegram group to further discuss with other Korean movie lovers. Finally, be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using the EM Talk link to access more Korean content. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one.